want to read something to you. I just want to let you know. I don't want it to stop because we're going to let the Holy Spirit have His way this morning, okay? But this is this month, Nathan talked about it a little bit last week. It's about the true identity coming out. But one of the things that's associated with this month is the tribe of Naphtali. I'm going to read something to you about that tribe. You know, the 12 tribes of Israel, right? The reason that we study the months is because the way that the tribes were positioned in the wilderness, God positioned them that way. And the glory of the Lord went before them and it also came and stood behind them. Part of my message, it was if I ever get to it today, which I doubt that I will, was about in, in Exodus 14, 20, where it said that the glory of the Lord that had been leading them when they were fixing across the Red Sea moved and it came behind them. And it protected them from the Egyptians that were coming after them. And it said it made darkness for the Egyptians, but it gave light to the Israelites to the Israelis to walk across that sea and so you see that's what the glory of the Lord does with us it protects us from our enemies and as long as we keep moving forward even though sometimes we don't understand it we don't understand how we're going to get across there but the glory of the Lord will prevail I want to read something to you Naphtali had the ability because he was part of the rear guard he was the very last tribe and he was so he was grouped with Dan and Asher and it wasn't because they had warlike skills it was because they brought the glory of the Lord and it became the rear guard they didn't fight they just brought the glory and it stood still between and it'll stand still between your enemies and you Naphtali had the ability to bring forth beautiful words. The words, the word beautiful means to glisten. His words had glory on them. They were to shine. Naphtali was also agile and nimble like a deer leaping. Naphtali brought glorious words accompanied by glorious movement into worship in the sanctuary. This is what you see this morning. There's a special grace for that. Listen to me. If you have song in you, listen to the sound of heaven coming. Listen to the words. They'll come out of you. You see the cloud by day led them. And the fire by night gave them light. Do you understand? The open heaven was there. They had to stay in the timing of it. And it constantly moved and they had to go where it went. It was the glory of the Lord. And we have to be that same way. That's why we study or I study it. Is because we want to stay in God's timing. I want to stay under. I mean the open heaven is there. It's The reason we don't always get our breakthrough is because we're behind time or ahead of time. We're, or we're out of position. And so he wants to bring those moments with us and into us and into our midst. Just like even corporately here. The glory of the Lord is here. The glory of the Lord is here. That means his manifested presence is here. If you need deliverance, if you need healing, whatever you may need, it's here. And how healed and how delivered you get is up to you. It's not up to us. It's not up... Jesus has done it. He said, just take my yoke upon you. Exactly what he said a minute ago. Learn of me. Learn of who I was. When Moses went up the mountain, he had to ascend the mountain. And then God came down. He descended onto the mountain and said, I'm going to meet with you. Because Moses cried out. He said, God, I want to see you face to face. And it said that Moses, God spoke to Moses face to face and mouth to mouth. That means he breathed his breath. It, it's like a, uh, what do you call it when you resuscitate somebody mouth to mouth? Resuscitation. That's what it's like. Yeah. 
mouth to mouth. He's breathing his breath of life into us. And do you know that in Genesis, when it says he breathed the breath of life into man, do you know that it was plural? It was breaths of lives. That means he's made his spirit, his soul, and his body alive and work together and function as one. That is where we are at in the body of Christ. Esther came up and it, she, and it said that... Um, it said that when that Mordecai said to her, he she said, mm, he said, you got to come out. You got to come out of hiding. You got to come out from this place. She had been prepared for a whole year. She had been in there being bathed with certain fragrances and 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 rubbed down with certain lotions before she. Thank God we don't have to do all that before we come to the Lord Jesus today, right? We just come to Him dirty, and He's the one that cleanses us up. Amen. But I'm going to tell you something. She had prepared. And Mordecai said, you've got to reveal who you are. She said, because don't think you won't perish with your people. Don't think you're going to be special. And that's what the Lord is saying to the remnant right now. In this nation and all over the world. Don't think if you're not going to stand up for such a time as this that you won't perish. You'll perish with the rest. Who knows if you're called for such a time as this into the kingdom at this time. That means you're going to step out and say, I will serve the Lord Jesus Christ. His praise will forever be on my lips. Come hell or high water, I don't care. I don't care if, the, if this were. Listen, I'm telling you right now, shaking is upon us. Are you in 444? Did you hit that a minute ago? Listen to me. There is a certain frequency that destroys the devil there is a sound that comes from heaven that will kill every demonic force in your life it will slay every giant that has had you held and you're afraid to push through it you need to pick up your slingshot today with your stone and we need to hit that frequency today because it destroys man-made structures in our life if you don't think God's not watching Babylon, which is the man-made structure, if you don't think He is after the hierarchy, He is. Because that's not what it's about. And you're fi we're fixing to see some things crumble. Because we're fixing to hit a different frequency. We're going to come up a level. We're going to come up a level. And we're going to be seated in heavenly places with Him. Hand me my phone, somebody. I don't know where it's at. I'm going to read this to you. This is what I heard the Lord say about this month. I hear the Lord saying, come up to a new height with me. I will make you to ride on the high places of the earth. I will make your feet firm and swift. I will set you secure and confident in my high places, says the Lord. I will train your hands for war and I'll give you strategy from on high. I will enlarge your steps so that your feet will not slip and I will surround you with the strength for the battle of head. My glory shall be your rear guard. So you need to laugh and abound with joy this month and let the light and the glory of who you are pierce the darkness. Make decrees based on these things from your higher place in Him and watch the darkness flee. Listen, there are decrees. The only thing, the only warning I can give you about the month of Adar is that the words that people have spoken against you and you have spoken over yourself. Come on. They will, you got to rewrite those decrees. They will swirl around your head. And if you're not careful, you'll partner with those things. And you can't allow yourself to partner with that mess. You need to rewrite the decrees. Because you cannot wear wilderness clothes into your promised land. You're going to have to shuck some things off. Now he kept them for 40 years in that glory. But there comes a time when the Lord says you got to go through Gilgal and you got to roll away the reproach of all that mess off of you. And you've got to begin to pick up your own food and eat it. You're going to have to plant your own grain and harvest it. We're no longer children tossed to and fro. 
We're coming up a level. Do you hear me? In our maturity with the Lord. God is good all the time. We just don't always see Him as good because our function, how we function is so much sometimes in the natural realm that we forget who He is and who we are supernaturally. I just give Him glory this morning. I want to give Him glory this morning. Did y'all have another?